What's up guys, it's Mike here with Growing Indoors 365 right here on YouTube. Today is uh, January 16th, Saturday. I'm making this video for you to enjoy on Sunday. Hope you're having a fantastic weekend. I just wanted to give you a quick tent update. Uh, for anybody that's new, my name is Michael. I'm an indoor hydroponic grower. Uh, right here on Growing Indoors 365, I primarily focus on lettuce and some herbs like basil. And I have a large catalog of video. Make sure to hit down below to the, to the channel and all the playlists that, that I have. I have over 100 videos and some videos even getting as much as 600 to 700,000 views. One of my largest videos. Also, make sure to subscribe and hit the links down below to get the products that you see here today if you're looking to set up a grow indoors like I have now. So let's go ahead and dive in. Let me show you a little bit of what's currently going on. We're going to uh, add a little bit of nutrient. I'm going to talk about the current setup. I'm going to talk about water volume, where we currently are, the root system development, and just the overall current stage of the entire top 27 heads of lettuce. Let's dive right in. All right, all right, all right. Check it out, guys. So uh, just last week, I showed you how I put all of the 27 lettuce heads inside of these three reservoirs. Let me just step back real quick for all you new cats. This is what my current setup looks like. It's a two-tier shelving, as you can see here. One, two, three. Three reservoirs right there. They maintain seven uh, pods in each one. Also, I have three down below with the light setup right here. They will also maintain a 20 head set, uh, a 27 head setup down below just in a matter of the next uh, probably week, maybe two weeks. I'll start germinating some new seeds and putting them down there. As I'm talking, I want you to pay attention. Do you hear that? It's a beautiful humming noise and that's all due to this high quality uh, pump okay general hydroponic you can find the links down below I assure you the best pump for this type of setup even if you have a one one reservoir the general hydroponic pump is the best now check this out look at these beautiful roots that we have beautiful white silky looking roots out of every single pod I love that there's been some great development and as of yet I have not added any extra water in the entire week since I put these in nor have I added any type of nutrients. We're going to do that today. Check this out. Look at this beautiful root system. Isn't that cool? Besides being cool, I mean you're literally growing food in your house. See unfortunately you have some nice, really nice heads growing right now. And as soon as I put those nutrients in, see I, I wait so the roots are already in the water so as soon as you hit that you put the nutrients into the water that's when the roots will start to you know uh, absorb they're going to absorb those nutrients and they're going to thrive this lettuce looks absolutely beautiful let's take a close-up shot there look at those heads gorgeous i love this with the spots i love this lettuce See, I got one little scraggler here. Let me just take a look at the, uh, no, he's doing all right. He's got a growth system. A lot of times when I have a scraggler like that, um, that could mean a few things. Uh, could be, I, I honestly don't know. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get uh, time to time, but I, I guarantee it'll still thrive pretty well as soon as I put the nutrients in. What's interesting, I wanna show you guys. You see the difference in color here? You see how this, this uh, rock wool is a little darker? And this rock was actually a lot later. That's because it, it all depends on how the water is actually hitting it. And, you know, unfortunately, a lot of times when you take um, when you take a pump like that and you split it across three, look at the difference in percolation here. That's pretty. That's that's going nice. I wish I had that all throughout all three. That one's a lot slower. I mean, I could definitely adjust these knobs to get this one a little more, and that's why you could be actually seeing a little less growth. Because when I look at this, I mean, we have some beautiful large heads here. Um, but I feel like we're actually bigger in this reservoir. And this one's doing well too. But it seems like I have a different type of lettuce. It looks like there's only one of this. There's this one, and that's like majority of those. But these are a different type of lettuce, as you can see here, because of the kind of the, the leaves, the leaf on the sides here, it's more rigid. And here are a lot smoother, so that's the difference here. But what's interesting is a lot of times when you get good water hitting up into that rock hole, this rock hole won't be so dry. See the difference in color? This is, this is literally wet because underneath 
the water is the water is hitting and it's percolating up and it's creating moisture and it's actually allowing the not, not even just the root that's fallen into the water but actually the full stem to be absorbing water and being fed uh, well water and in, in sense it's being hydrated but in addition it's going to start sucking up those nutrients which is our next step that we're going to do um, the way that I measure um, the level of water I kind of just lift one of these up and I look down and if I determine that the water is pretty low in the sense of it hitting the roots or wherever the water level is I go ahead and grab a big old pitcher or whatever it is and um, I dump some water. So right now I'm going to actually dump some additional water in each of the reservoirs just to get um, the volume of water a little higher and then we're going to go ahead and add some nutrients. So let's go ahead and look at that. By the way, the when I opened up the tent the, the, the temperature was probably around 79 and the humidity I think was around like 37 which is decent but I really like it at 31 and 75 um, because I have both I have it open completely as you can see here. I love this setup, don't you? If you love this setup, make sure to hit that smash that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up for me guys. Help out the help out the algorithm so more people can see this video. Make sure you're sharing with with family that's interested in maintaining a grow like this. Pandemic, schmandemic, whatever it is, if there's scarcity of food, you know what? I got some lettuce. I don't know if you could survive on lettuce, but it's certainly something to chew and it's certainly something to fill your stomach. Looking beautiful. I love when these things start to just to develop. And then the next, like, as soon as you hit it with the nutrients, wow. In like three, four days, I mean, it's just like, phew. By the way, guys, down below, besides from all the product links that'll, that'll help you source what you need to maintain like grow like this, I have the Instagram for Growing Indoors 365 as well as the Facebook page. Do me a favor, hit those down at the bottom. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. I'm posting pictures as frequently as possible of, of all of this, like just like just cool kind of grow images of, of root systems and just kind of the development that I have in the tent and on the Facebook channel. That also just, uh, you know, it's a good group of people there and just great engagement. I'm posting, you know, the latest videos as well as some additional images. All right, so I'll see you guys on there. Anyway, let's go ahead and add the water and add some nutrients, all right? All right, so check it out. Huge Vitamix uh, thing of water. Just kind of top it off, you know what I mean? I just hit every single one. Put as much water as you need, and then move into the next step. Now, let's go ahead and add some nutrients. I use the Botanicare. I think this is the current growth level that it's required to start putting in a little bit of nutrient. So let me go ahead and show you what that looks like, guys. Guys, check it out. This is what I got here. The botanic here. I start with the base. Okay, you gotta start with the base. Then they also have. We also got the grow. The instructions are in the back, uh, and we have the bloom. Obviously, these are meant for different stages um, of the grow cycle. So right now, I don't even put that much in. Honestly, I don't even go. You know, call me, call me whatever you want. What I do is, this is 60 mil right here. I do approximately 30. I don't think it needs that much. You know, and I've been able to manage it without so much. Now what I do is, as I put it in there, I kind of just mix it around, all right? Just like a little, just like a big pot of soup, okay? That's all we do, check it out. That's all I do. Put a little 30 in there. Oh, great. I just got on my socks. Mix it around like a big bowl of soup. Talking about soup, I'm a huge soup lover. I could live on soup. If you love soup, smash that, um, smash that thumbs up. Give me that like, smash that like button. I could live on soup. And also in the comment section, tell me what soup you love. I got a lot of people, I mean, people internationally, all over the world, watch this channel. I just recently had some amazing pasta fagioli, which is a, like an Italian soup. And I love it. 
think it's a little too high in carb for me because it's just full of so many beans. Now I'm going to put 30 of the grow, by the way. We're going to leave the bloom out of this for a little bit. But uh, I'm a huge, going back to the soup, I'm a huge uh, soup lover. If you have some, uh, if you have some good recipes or a suggestion, let me know. So I'm all about that soup life. I'm thinking also about creating some hoodies. I'm, 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 for the last like, year, I've been talking about creating a new logo for Growing Indoors 365. Um, and I'm gonna be, I think I'm gonna be doing that. So I wanna create some merch. Let me know if that sounds cool. You know, something that just said like Growing Indoors 365. I mean, we're all down with the movement. Everybody wants to eat clean. Everybody loves the hydroponic way. So I think that might be cool, like a limited run, maybe like 50 sweatshirts, I don't know, 50 t-shirts. I'm just not sure. By the way, if anybody caught this already, this channel used to be called Grow Indoors 365, but I've actually changed it to Growing Indoors 365. I think Growing Indoors 365, first of all, makes more sense. Uh, Grow Indoors 365, it just didn't have the right path of my, the vision. It's just we're we're growing. We don't. It's not just a single grow. We're consistently growing the Doors 365. So, uh, you know, the Facebook page, the Instagram, everything kind of morphed into growing the Doors 365. So, don't get off. You know, don't get be uh, caught off guard if you see some sign that says growing Doors 365. I bet none of you even noticed it at all. But that's the new wave, growing the Doors 365. Um, so this is where I am. I'm going to give you another close shot of all the current uh, grow that we have in here. But I hope everybody's staying safe. You know, this, this crazy, uh, crazy demic is still out there. Uh, please stay safe. Uh, you know, motivate yourself on to trying to maintain a grow like this. I, I, I want to hear from more of you in the comment section. There's a ton of you that, that converse with me over Facebook uh, messaging, which is awesome. We talk about some of the do's and don'ts. Also, we troubleshoot some of your grows, which is super cool. I love interacting with my fans. I think it's super exciting. You know, we're going on like year four, I think, of, with uh, with this channel, and it's just growing and growing and growing. I, I think in the next few months, we're gonna hit 15,000 subscribers, which is just so amazing, because there's, this, is, this isn't just regular content. This is content that impacts people's lives. This gives people the ability um, of the motivation, the knowledge. This is free knowledge. You know, we're, there's there's no gimmick here. This is me showing you how to take a simple seed, something something so simple, and and growing something. You know, allowing yourself to technically live off whatever you grow. Now, it doesn't have to be just lettuce. It, there, there's a, such a large variation of things that you could grow indoors hydroponically. So it's. You know, I, 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 I put it upon myself to make sure that I'm consistently bringing you guys content, motivating you, and showing you that all this is possible. Because it really is. All you need to do is start with one reservoir, a few seeds, a little bit of rock wool, and figure it out from there. If you want to go bigger like I have, do it. You know, if you consume this much lettuce, or if you consume uh, basil, or you like a variation of basils, or you want to try other things, spinach, if you want to try whatever. I mean, I've grown carrots hydroponically, and it actually did grow, but it was an ugly looking carrot. Besides all that, um, I'm going to end it here. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. Um, anybody in the U.S. that has off on Monday from, for MLK, uh, take that time off just to chill back, relax with your family if you can. And that's just what it's all about. It's all about taking the time and resting your mind and, you know, diving into your garden for a few minutes just to give yourself a, a little bit of time of ease and just relax. You know, that's what it's all about. So I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, um, I'm hoping to bring you as much content as possible. Sometimes it just doesn't happen, but I think I'm doing pretty well. Uh, I'm consistently posting every week right now, so hopefully you guys are happy and enjoying the content. And uh, this video was me showing you the current status of the tent, as well as adding nutrients and, and just giving you a quick update. And hopefully that was good enough for you guys for this weekend. And that's it. We'll wrap it up here. I'll talk to you guys later.